Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Today we're going to be continuing to check out the Kobolds and Catacombs expansion, this time with our third and final match featuring our Silver Hand Recruit Paladin deck. Let's go ahead and jump in and see if we can get that third win. Uther versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall well, die. we've lost. I will oh my god, this hand is garbage. No, 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 I don't want any of this shit. Get that fuck out of here. Actually, I should have kept Knife Juggler. Uh, eh, I'm actually okay with that. I wish I had kept Knife Juggler, though. I don't like having like a bunch of two-drops in my opening hand with this deck. I need Divine Shield. I need weapons. I need options, especially against this opponent. Weird. Um, especially against this opponent, because if this is Q-Block, um, it's basically an auto-win condition against the, our deck. So uh, we're going to need to be very careful here and hope that we get a somewhat ideal open um, and opening with righteous defender or excuse me righteous protector is definitely a solid option well, we need to watch out for our big defile plays which are almost inevitable all right Put this apple on your head. Repent. I will take the knife juggler and hope that, well he can't defile yet actually hope that he we can keep him from being able to for a little while yet does this work on all minions yeah it does that purifier's not look good. Okay, so I can use the maul this turn to... Ah, he is gonna go for... wait. Oh. That was inefficient. Oh, well, that's okay. Alright, so we got Direwolf Alpha, which actually kind of throws what I wanted to do this turn a little bit. Um, we got three mana. I could just attack into this and then repurifier's maul, but ugh, what a waste. Instead, I'd rather go for the direwolf alpha and be less wasteful and be wasteful in a different way. I'm gonna waste one damage worth of attack, which ain't nearly as big of a deal. And here comes the defile. I can just feel it. Don't do it. You know you want to just be playing a demon lock deck, and not the flavor of the week. Nope. This is totally gonna be uh totally going to be what I was afraid of. All right, well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six cards in his hand. Let's go ahead and coin and then divine favor. Drag Gulch Jailer is not bad. Uh, this hand actually is not bad at all. That We needed that. Uh, <laughs> we needed that divine favor pretty badly, and now we, we got a decent toolkit. I'm feeling a bit better. Uh, ooh. If this is... See, this is where that auto-win condition thing comes in. Uh, I need to be very careful of that, because if that summons Void Lord, it's basically game. Ooh, don't do that. No, don't do that. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna go... Boom. Boom. We're going straight face. I am not gonna waste any time tri giving him a, min or a demon early. But here it comes. He's probably going to gain 8 life off of its back, which actually does kind of suck, but... Oh. He had, like, the best possible play. Because of course he did. Well, at least he got a Doom Guard and not a, uh... At least he got a really, really good card and not the best possible card. Uh. We're going to fill the board up with Silverhand Recruits. Hope to God he doesn't have a board clearing card here again, and then level up next turn if we if we can. If we can. There's a decent chance of him uh, just dropping a Defile here, which would be so good for him too. Or another Hellfire. I mean, he's been doing nothing but drawing so far, so the odds are he probably has one. No, he doesn't. Hmm. And he didn't take out exclusively Silverhand Recruits. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five. So we want to Lost in the Jungle. And then level up. Right? Wait, one, two, three, four, five. No. Yes. No. Actually, it's smarter to Reporting just play these two Silverhand Recruits. Nice. Now, there's still a very good chance that he's going to win this, because all he needs to do is Hellfire again, and he'll clear my entire board. But, we still have some weapons up our sleeves, so maybe not. 
And Hellfire hits him too. In fact, we would have lethal if he did another Hellfire. The only thing that would kill us at this point is if he's able to somehow get a Void Lord onto the board. And even then, we might have the tools to remove it. Holy crap, did we actually just beat a cube block? I don't want to get my hopes up too high, because every time I do, he, they just crush them down, but... Here comes some kind of AoE. No? I'm terrified. For four mana, what else could he possibly have? He could play... I mean, if he plays Hellfire here, it'll wipe the whole board. And I won't have lethal anymore. Okay, interesting. It's not enough, but interesting. Ha, <laughs> Sunkeeper. What up, Sunkeeper? Don't really need you now. Alright, we did it. Holy crap, we beat a Q-Block. That is a great feeling. You guys didn't see it, because I, I don't bother sharing losses, but Q-Block takes this deck apart pretty well, usually, so it's nice to see that this deck can uh, take a win against it. If you guys enjoyed this video and this series uh, in a larger sense, uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.